welcome back. We are going to be taking the cable car today up to Monty Palace, which is a beautiful tropical garden. And then we're going to get a fantastic little ride coming back down. Yes, what you see is a vending machine, but it well, isn't... Well, water, like you'd normally expect. No, or cigarettes, or like they used to in the olden days. It's for getting a mask. Yeah. So you get hand sanitizer, gloves, or a choice of colour of masks. <laughs> That's really cool, isn't it? It's a bit different here. Yeah. The world today, eh? <laughs> yeah, honestly, Madeira has been fantastic. They're so on this COVID thing. They are. Seriously. Everybody is... Um, wearing masks and they advise in the Airbnb to wear masks, they're brilliant. Yeah. Really good. Yeah. <laughs> That's <is> quite cool. <laughs> oh, there's always one. Here we are, it's the cable car house. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so excited. and actually this hasn't bothered me so honestly give it a go it's well worth it this is it Ian what? this right. is what? when we get off oh. this is our stop god comes in here quite fast it's like on the towers isn't it? yeah As you step off the cable car, the first thing you see on your left is the Monte Palace. Um, you pay, and as you walk in, the first thing you come across are these museums um, of African tribal crafts. Really interesting. As you're wandering around, you'll see these tiles on the wall and they all have a story and basically it's the history of Portugal. Yeah, I grew up in Zimbabwe, so this just 
rings so true to me and makes me feel like I'm back home again. Beautiful. Although you didn't see them on sticks like this. <laughs> you see the people on the side of the roads crafting them and then you could just purchase them and they all have significant meanings in their culture. Lovely. Nice to see. And you've got to stand there to show size perspective. That is huge. Wow. Imagine finding that. Well, this is a bit of all right, isn't it? So we're down three levels, I think. And the views are just getting better and better. Absolutely gorgeous place. So, Ian. Yes. And how much was the entrance? 12, 50, 25 pounds for the tourists, or 25 euros. And you can literally spend as long as you like here. Yeah. We came up on the cart, cable cart. Yes. And you step out and literally it's just as across the way, the cart, you can yeah. see it, yeah. The cable Brilliant. cart was, how much was that? Oh, that was 11 pounds each. 11 euros each. No, sorry, 11 euros each, yeah. yes. But worth every cent. Um, to come up and then we've got a, another little trip to go down but we will reveal that in a bit takes you halfway down very excited about that so yeah we will just continue to go around and show you more of these lovely gardens <laughs> look at the fish in here Jim. oh there's fish in there is there it is. look at them Oh my goodness me! So there is. A good size, those as well. Be good, be good. Yum, oh yum. my god, he's huge! What a beautiful fish! Isn't it? It's just said to Ian. Oh look, they do wine tasting down here. Go on, let's go down here. He said. Can't think why. Sadly, there was no wine tasting on that day. That's why women never listen. Spider web. Oh, I'm turning them around and see if I get them. Oh, yes, I can see it now. Yeah, that's awesome. Wow. Thank goodness. Hello, right, what's she found now? Oh, that's different. Whatever that is.
terrapin. There's another terrapin here. Oh, there's another one. There's Hello, terrapin. buddy. Hello. They do bite, so I wouldn't do yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. They got teeth. <laughs> oh, look at them. Mm -hmm. Like I'm gonna bite you. You're gonna bite, bite you. you. Now we've just jumped over to China. Wow, look at this big. It's beautiful, isn't it? Beautiful. Do it. Do it. <laughs> Plenty of opportunities for a date tonight. <laughs> Dr. Doolittle at it again. You're knocking on the door, are you? And running. I wonder if their feet get hot. <laughs> Gorgeous. Yeah. Right, where to next? What a beautiful place. As much as it's lovely to see these beautiful um, budgies, I really don't like seeing birds in captivity. Um, but they've got lots of space and they're breeding. We've seen babies, so they seem happy, but I'd rather them be outside in the wild. This place is absolutely huge and we would highly recommend that you bring lunch with you so you can sit down and take in the views while you're having a rest. It's hot. We are flagging because we only brought snacks and water with us. Um, but amazing day out, definitely worth it. We're now off to uh, go into town and find some lunch. But first we need to get back down the mountain. This is how we're gonna do it. Euro for the two? Yeah. That's not too bad. It's only two kilometres for 30 euros. Yeah. 
but it was so fun. It's a fun learning opportunity, isn't it? Yeah. The only thing is they do try to push you to buy the photo at the end of it, but we didn't. Yeah, they that. were a little bit pushy. To be fair, yeah, they? that's yeah. the only time we've come across that. Yeah. Um, but yeah we've just uh, walked down the road, not far actually from there. Yeah, not far yeah. at all. And we've come to a place called the Casa do Cassiera. Um, lovely little place, as you can see. And they do light lunches like sandwiches and salad and alcohol. <laughs> So once again, thank you so much for watching and please stay with us because I haven't finished this journey with you yet. Um, next week, we have got some more adventures in Funchal. So please join us. <laughs>